Substance abuse among the youth remains a challenge. Now a new concoction is rearing its ugly head. Young people are mixing fizzy drinks with codeine cough mixtures, dubbed lean, as it makes people unable to stand up straight. It's highly addictive and is known to lead to death. It was popular in the 1980s among blues musicians and has now made its way to our shores. Let's speak to the Central Drug Authority's David Bayeva about this growing trend. David, thank you very much for joining us this early on a Saturday morning. Um, so can you tell us um, about this new drug? Uh, who is most likely or where it's being found? Who's uh, likely to use it? Um, and what some of the possible consequences um, of use are. Thank you very much, Anne, and thank you for the opportunity. I, I just yeah. want to make one very, very quick correction to the introduction. I used to be the chairperson of the Central Drug Authority. My term has ended now, so I am no longer representing the Central Drug Authority. Uh, however, that doesn't for change. That wrong, David. No, no, not at all. My interest and my concerns is remains exactly the same so really nothing much has changed other than the fact that i am no longer the chairperson however what i wanted to explain is that lean as we understand it also very commonly known as purple drunk is a concoction that is made by the youth um, and it's very very often disguised by mixing it with other cold drinks um, or even adding some sweets to it to change the flavor because of the fact that they're taking it in excessive quantities what they don't understand is that, firstly, if they haven't made the concoction themselves, they can never be sure of what it is that they're actually drinking, and that in itself presents the first danger. How can you take something safely, or how can you take something when you don't even know what it is that you're drinking? Mm. The other problem that we've got is that it's not only codeine that it contains, and codeine is one of the problems that we have in our society as a drug that is being abused. But there are lots of other medications, there are lots of other chemicals that are being abused as well. And that then brings us to the other point where, of course, it's not just about codeine. It's about the reason why do the youth in particular use medication or any chemical to change the way they feel. And that is what the program is really aimed towards. But importantly, what you're asking about codeine as an active ingredient um, yes, if we have a look at the chemical formula for codeine, uh, the chemical formula is 3-methylmorphine. Now, we all know that morphine is a highly addictive opioid, and this is something that is then produced in the body when you're taking codeine. How much can you take? How safe is it for you to take? And all that is dependent on the actual person themselves. So with that little bit of a background, you can understand the complications that we have and the results that we have of abusing something like codeine in the excessive quantities that they take it in as opposed to what was supposed to have been taken for medicinal purposes. David, can you give us um, some added... indication, sorry to interrupt you there, what could be some of the possible mm. long-term health implications? Because the youth, you know, we know, we all know what it's like to be young. Sometimes you think in the moment, you think, oh, well, you know, it's just now. What could possibly be the harm? Um, what are those long-term health implications? So the, the problem that we have is, and this is where the consequence that they live with afterwards becomes so important, because initially what you're saying, the immediate gratification that they get, that is short-lived, but the problem is that when that chemical wears off for the person, they then come down into a depression. And once they come down into the depression, the brain reward system says to them immediately, you don't have to be feeling like this. We can change the way you feel. Just take some more. And that's the vicious circle that they start getting themselves into and that downward spiral that is going to lead them down. David, uh, we other... also said in our introduction that this could even be fatal. Is that correct? It can be fatal. There are very often cases of people who have overdosed from it. And this is because the codeine doesn't come as the only ingredient in the medication that they're taking. There is alcohol included in it as well. And we all know that Codeine being a central nervous system suppressant, it, actually, it brings you down. Alcohol does exactly the same thing. So very commonly, one would find that they could lose consciousness. And with that comatose state that they find themselves in, the breathing is then affected, and that is how they actually can overdose. Also, remember that because it's producing more feed in the body, some people metabolize faster than others. So... Again, taking it in these excessive quantities, they're getting massive doses, and we have had tremendous amount of incidents of people actually overdosing as a result and 
losing their lives. David, unfortunately, that is where we're going to have to leave it. We've run out of time. Uh, David Baver, substance abuse expert, speaking to us there. Note for parents, keep an eye on your medicine cabinets. Note to the youth, lean is not uh, innocent. It can be fatal. It can be highly addictive. So if you're pressured into it, my friends, just think twice.